Hey, Kelly gang, what to do? So we're going to get into Cardi B and Sweetie's beef at the Oscars. I was going to say the Grammys. OMG, I'm messing up. Um, but yeah, so apparently Cardi B showed her ass again at another award show, you know, as she does, um, like she did with Nikki that one time a couple years ago. Was it the Oscars, the Grammys? I don't remember what it was a few years ago. But yeah, her and Nikki got into it. She threw a shoe. It was a whole thing. Um... I don't understand why it's okay for her to act like this. Um, if anyone else did any of the things that she did or if they were any darker of a skin tone, it would be a problem. I'm just say that. Um, I feel like her uh, light skin Hispanic privilege is obviously and honestly keeping her where she's at. Um, yeah, let's get into it. I, I'm so curious about this. The ghetto was jumping out at the Oscars after party because Cardi B allegedly jumped Sweetie after catching her with Offset. Eyewitnesses who were there said Cardi was very angry and she would have really messed Sweetie up if people weren't there to separate them. Cardi reportedly caught Sweetie sleeping with Offset a little while ago and that's allegedly why oh. Sweetie and Quavo broke up in the first place. In fact, Quavo seemingly oh. spilled the tea about this some time ago. Also explains why Offset and Quavo have not been able to put their differences aside and reconcile even after takeoff's passing. Cardi feels like Sweetie is the one to blame for her marriage falling apart, and Offset and Quavo are refusing to speak to each other. Chow, y'all might want to get real comfortable, cause baby, we finna get into some things. Okay, so okay, so really quick. Cardi does what every other female does in a cheating situation. She tries to attack the female involved, when in reality, con factor is the male. The one lying, the one cheating. He's the one that took marriage vows, not sweetie. You know? Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm ecstatic about this. Well, not ecstatic, but like, I just can't wait to hear what they say. <laughs> Assuming this is a clip from the live, but yeah, I remember that live because I was in the live, I was there, I was like, sweetie, what are we doing? What are we doing? And she was like, ow, 20, what was it, 25 million or 200, however much millions she was wearing. It looked good on her. All right, it looked good, it looked amazing. Honey, slate it. All right, I'm sorry. Let's go. <coughs>
She looks amazing. Not her asking who else. Definitely not Cardi. Anyway, like I said before, she has been brewing for a hot minute now. And it has to do with Sweetie allegedly sleeping with Offset. These rumors started shortly after Sweetie and Quavo broke up. Okay. Because if you were I'm gonna say this. He ugly. Alright, Quavo is ugly. I don't well, he's not attractive to me. Alright. I don't know what people see in this person. Alright. Even after like he cleared, you know, he had the clear skin and everything else. They're not that cute, bro. Like, I don't I don't I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. Can someone saw it from the comments? Like, let me know. I, I, yeah. I know I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Let me know. Sound it off in the comments. Oh, also, do you guys, do you guys think they messed around? I mean, truth moment, it wouldn't surprise me that almost everybody in the industry suits with each other and messes around and cheats, like, just because that's how they roll, that's the industry, you know, birds of a feather flock together kind of thing. All right, let's go. Okay, sorry. I remember this video because it went viral when it happened and he grabbed her, pulled her into the elevator. They were fighting about something and then I think he was trying to take, she had um, a gaming console or a briefcase or something important or something he wanted and she wasn't trying to give it to him so he pulled her in the elevator and you know, y'all saw the clip. Y'all saw it, but yeah. Everybody was just like, dang, bro, really? The Bentley that he bought for her while they were together. And at this time, people were confused as to why he was going this hard to break up and do things to intentionally embarrass her. That was until he released the song Messy Feature Takeoff, where he accused Sweetie of getting freaky with somebody very close to him. And though he didn't... Uh, 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 Crazy. Okay. Crazy. Do you guys think they messed around or not? Like, what's the deal? Five minutes? It takes me 15 minutes to wash my face. That's just a daily routine. Sweetie had a show. 
Rude. cheating on you from day one i'm just saying not talking stuff just keeping it g all right he's been cheating on you from day one he has never been faithful or if he has it hasn't been for long so do you really know what's going on in your house like because he had females in your house in hollywood so i'm just saying like all right i'm sorry let's finish address things that's going on in my home when i know the truth Cause it's like people gonna make it worse. Cause it's just entertaining. So as you can see, it looks like the rumors about Sweetie hooking up with Offset actually did have some truth to them. But all of them spent the last few months trying to gaslight us into thinking that we were trying to start the drama when there was already drama between them. I mean, if people weren't there when she started going off on Sweetie, she would have really did some damage. This the same woman who sent her whole gang of security after two innocent girls because of her serial cheating husband who cheated on her with them. It's honestly really sad that Cardi continues to be mad at everyone else for Offset's infidelity except for Offset himself. But anyway, people have their own two cents to give about this and they did not hold back. One person said, Cardi getting into it with Sweetie at the Oscar party all because of her cheating uh, wanted sweetie is peak insecure behavior another person said i don't believe sweetie slept with offset i believe cardi b is a bully in cosplaying as a girl's girl she's always trying to run up on somebody as if someone is afraid of her but now i want to know she is and she has y'all really believe sweetie hooked up with offset no is cardi overreacting at all right so sorry i forgot to i had um stop the recording um but yeah i kind of feel that way a little bit <clears throat> um she takes her frustration out on everyone but him like and i'm gonna just i'm just speaking on experience and what i've seen i've noticed women who are of hispanic descent whether it be puerto rican um from mexico or like whatever nationality wherever under the hispanic umbrella they take a lot of stuff from their man period like they will get drugged through the mud abused like all the things um because it's a cultural thing like they're supposed to keep the family together like um in the um hispanic culture the man runs the house the the boys get treated different from the girls like it it's it's crazy as hell um but and I kind of have a feeling the main reason she didn't like really divorce divorce him was because of number one all the money that would be tangled up in court number two they would have to do 
um, visitation and everything for the kids. Number three, it would probably drain her financially just to fight and leave. Not even with what she came with because he would be entitled. He would try to get child support. He would try to do all the things. So, I mean, she does what her type does. You try to fight everybody but the person that is causing the problem. Leave him then. Like, but she probably won't. But you know what? That's her life. That's her choice. She's going to continue to run amok, do her thing, and try to fight everybody. And one day, she's going to catch a case that she can't buy her way out of. She's going to do something ratchet that she that people let her continue to do. And she's not going to be able to come back from it. Like, I'm going to just keep it real. Like, does anyone else see it coming? Because I see it coming. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you think Cardi should have took her frustrations out on Offset instead of trying to yell at Sweetie at the uh, event after party? Like, there's executives, there's lawyers, there's so many people in the room with you, yet you just continue to show your ratchet ghetto ass. Like, it's not cute. Um, we too grown for that, all right? Like, come on now. You, you're, you're at, you're at this level, you need to, you're at the level financially, you need to get there mentally, emotionally, everything else, like, let, let's just keep it real, but yeah, let me know what you guys think, I, I don't know, I don't think it happened, I think he cheated with someone else and is trying to blame her, or maybe the girl looks like Sweetie, hmm, I don't know, let me know what you guys think, sound off in the comments, bye!